Hi all, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be talking about using Grafana dashboard with uh, Node-RED uh, backend. So Node-RED provides a dashboard which has a lot of features, uh, but it's not production ready. So it, it doesn't have like some uh, user management features. It doesn't have organization management features. There's no concept of teams. And it's basically a single uh, instance and it's a single user dashboard. And it's kind of clunky and uh, there's a very little customization, uh, especially if you're trying to analyze some data. So this is where Grafana comes in. Uh, so in this example, I'll be going over the two dashboards that I built uh, using Node-RED. So one is uh, using the Node-RED dashboard, and the other one is using Grafana. And I'm pushing the data in the influx. Uh, so the backend is similar. It's just the the plotting the data and displaying the data, uh, those are two separate uh, separate things. All right, so let's get started. So this is my uh, this is my workflow, my master flow. So what's happening here is I have two sensors. Let's say right now I'm simulating the data. So one is temperature and humidity, and uh, this is basically a random number generator, but eventually this could could be uh, this data could be coming from let's say your temperature and humidity sensors. So I'm formatting the data. I'm adding a tag here called device ID, and I'm pushing the data, uh, the temperature and humidity data, to to my local influx and also a remote influx. So I'll ignore the local influx part for now. So we'll be mostly be concentrating on the remote influx. So I've already have a bucket set up. I have a measurement set up. And this data is going in uh, every five seconds. So if I hop on to my influx, uh, Cloud Influx account, I can look at my bucket, which is PDI, and I can select the measurement. I'm pushing in a device ID a tag and there are a lot more things here, but uh, basically I'm just pushing in temperature and humidity data. So if I just look at, let's say past five minutes data. So here you have, so my device ID is the tag and I have two types. One is type humidity and the other type is temperature and the corresponding value. So, that, so the data is being pushed every five, uh, five seconds uh, into uh, the influx cloud. Now, first of all, for the node dashboard, I'm also I'm using the dashboard nodes, which are available on the side, uh, uh, in the node sidebar. So I have two nodes for each, uh, each of my type, so I have a chart for temperature, I have a gauge for temperature. Similarly, I have uh, both temperature, uh, sorry, chart and gauge for humidity as well. And I have a table node, which is pulling data from influx. And I have another chart node, which is plotting uh, the data from influx. So if we look at the, if you look at my device subflow here, I have a trigger. that runs at every one second. And what it does it, it's pulling data from, I have a query running and it's pulling data from my remote influx and it's sending it uh, out of the subflow. So it's coming right here uh, in this output three. So this, these two nodes from influx and chart. So these things that you see here, they are basically coming from the influx. And I also have a time picker node here uh, basically to mimic a Grafana time picker. Uh, so I have 30, sec 30 seconds, one minute, and five minutes. And that's this drop down here. And uh, the table node and a chart node. So if you look at this column here, so this is basically, if I select five minutes, what this will do is this will go to my remote influx and it'll pull the data and it will update the table as well as the chart with last five minutes data. 
So this data is uh, directly coming from Influx. Now the one you see on the left is basically uh, the, the live data that's coming uh, directly from the sensors to the Node or dashboard. And I'm not really saving this uh, to Influx. Actually, I'm saving this to Influx, but I'm also sending it out uh, from the subflow to my uh, to my dashboard nodes as well. So that's what you see here. So this is basically live data and uh, this is a live plot and everything else that's coming in here. This is basically uh, data that's coming, that's be saved in the influx and it's this is directly uh, being pulled from influx. So all well and good, I mean, it looks nice. Uh, I mean, to me, it looks a little clunky, uh, but uh, it's still uh, decent for a, for a proof of concept. Now, because we already have the data saved on Influx, we can move from this dashboard to something like this. And Grafana is really easy to set up. I'll uh, drop in a few links to help you get started with uh, Grafana and Influx, some videos or tutorials that I found useful. So here I have three panels. Uh, so one is uh, this text panel, a chart, and another chart. So I have a row which is live and a row which is historic. So because of, uh, because Influx, oh, sorry, because Grafana has this time picker, I can easily change the time picker and it will update uh, the chart, the historic chart uh, with this time. Yeah, I think I've been doing this for like past few hours. So we only have data uh, for the past few hours, but but the point is you can update the time, you can zoom in and zoom out uh, easily uh, in, a, in, a Grafana, uh, uh, in a Grafana instance. So I won't be going through how I created this dashboard uh, because uh, there are a lot of tutorials in Grafana, but this kind of uh, hopefully gives you some idea how you can utilize Node-RED and Grafana uh, for like a production grid application. So this is something that you can share to your customers and it has already features inbuilt. Uh, it has teams, users. Uh, so different users can log in at the same time. Different users can have different uh, timestamps set up. Um, and I hope that helped. Thank you.